All right, so we're hooked up on hot wire. We got a long strip right there. This is, um, if you've ever been to one of our events here at Lazy Acres, this is our parking lot. And we overseeded this area with the no-till drill with uh, iron and clay cow peas, sun hemp and brown top millet. Two years ago, uh, we planted this area in two directions. Uh, we planted east and west with bahia grass and then we came back and planted north and south with bahia grass. So we ended up planting about 20 pounds of bahia grass per acre. We knew that this was gonna have a lot of traffic on it and we wanted, we wanted it to be thick. <clears throat> we've rolled out some hay bales out here. We've had wood chips added in here. So it's pretty decent. One of the problems we have are these big giant stumps everywhere. This was, um, I mean, this was planted timber and it was almost 35 years old at the time of Hurricane Michael. And so you can see just how enormous these trees are. Um, so Hurricane Michael took the majority of these trees down and uh, there was a whole ridge or a whole row about where that white truck is of oaks and hardwoods that created a lot of shade in here. And so they're all gone. The storm took all them out. <clears throat> and so we don't have any shade in here. Of course, today it's supposed to get up to about 98 um, in the middle of the day. So we're gonna open this silver gate right here and we're just gonna leave it open. That'll give the cows a chance to get back to some of that shade in the afternoon when it's so hot and that sun's directly overhead. Now this afternoon, probably four or five o'clock, we'll probably close them up in this place, put the gate, you know, close the gate back and the cows will be where they are. And then tomorrow, we'll move them one more section over, but we won't allow them to be on this section just to give it time to rest. <clears throat> Something we've discovered with this sun hemp and these iron and clay cow peas is once it kind of gets into that third section of leaves for the iron and clay, <clears throat> once the sun hemp gets up about a foot, foot and a half tall, if you graze it lightly, you know, for half a day and then pull the cows off of it, it'll start, it'll continue growing all season long. But if you bring them in here and you set cows in on top of that and you let them stay in here two or three days, you're gonna get one grazing out of that sun hemp and it'll be done. You'll get one grazing out of that iron and clay and it'll be done. And so, they are ready. Y'all ready? This gate's a little bit aggravating. Dylan, if you'll grab that end, I'll hold this end in place. No hinges. We hadn't got hinges yet. So it's just chained up here. All right. Come on, girl. That's good. Just let it stand right there. Now, the tendency of these calves is as soon as these mamas make this turn, they're gonna wanna turn in here where me and Dylan are. So we're creating like a little hedge right here from the end of that gate to this wire. Because what'll happen with the calves, and you watch this calf, it's gonna end up going behind that wire because that mama didn't take it with it. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. We're going to keep walking down this way. And maybe that calf will think we're the boogeyman and go with mama. So we're walking away from that calf at a diagonal. We're going to get out here a little ways and then we're going to turn and head straight back toward it. See if we can push it, push it back up in there. This calf's like five days old. And so 
it hadn't made a move yet from a pasture to a pasture. It's made moves within the pasture. So we're just coming straight at it now. There you go. There you go, baby. There you go. There you go. All right. All right. Yeah. 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 And so when it started trotting, what you can't see in the video is I've got my left hand way up high in the air. Trying to make sure it knows to go away from me. And so now we're walking straight toward it, straight toward it. And it's gonna get shocked like that. I got my left hand back up in the air. I want it to go around that. If it doesn't go, it's not the end of the world, okay? Call it in here, Lucy. Come on, baby. I just want to teach it not to go through the fence, not to go under the wire, and not to go behind the wire. There you go. Come on. Come on. And so it just hadn't figured out yet. Uh -uh. Don't go through the wire. Deal, will you circle around? Get on this side of it. We're going to back off. We're going to give her a little time and a little less pressure while Dylan moves in I'm backing up <clears throat> there again all we're wanting to do is teach it how to go through that gate it's probably going to take off and go between me and Dylan no He sees Dylan now. Pretty little old heifer. There you go, baby. Sometimes you just put a little pressure on them, get them trotting, and then stop. There you go. Good job. <laughs> all right now go out there and find mama tell her all about it She's back with mama now, so everything's right in her little world. And so we're, we don't want the calves to learn how to go straight across. We want them because they can. It's a, the electric fence is not a physical barrier. It's a psychological barrier for the cows. And I mean, they're big and strong and they can push right through that electric fence. But we want them to go through the gates I mean, we're holding them up with a single strand of poly wire back over here, all right? And they're not gonna go past that. A calf or two might, but they're gonna stay with their mamas, okay? And so our goal is for them to graze this little section right here. And when they're done with this in a few hours, we're gonna pull them off of it. We're gonna give this plenty of time to rest. Tomorrow, we'll keep this section closed and we'll keep it closed with that little single poly wire We'll put them on the other side of that. We'll graze that little section. The next day we'll graze another little section, so on and so forth until we get to the end of this 25 acres. So this grass will recover much healthier. The cows will do great. I mean, you can look, they're slick and shiny and, um, and just plump right now. Some of these older mamas, those, those tailbones are high, but some of these mamas, I mean, that's a 12 year old cow, well, 10 year old cow. So, I mean, she looks really good for an older mama cow. And so anyway, 
That's this morning's move. Hey, if you like our videos, click that like button. If you really, really want to see them, click the subscribe. And then if you want YouTube to tell you when we add a new one, ring that little bell over there and YouTube will let you know every time we upload something new. This is Ryan with the Lazy Acres. Me and Dylan moved the cows this morning and we hope you have a big old good day. We'll see you.